most of the people in here are Musavi supporters because he says he comes with uh, such a things like we will change our relations with other countries, especially with the US. Other candidates were also represented on iReport. Mehdi Karoubi's slogan was similar to that of US President Barack Obama's, as you can see on these bumper stickers. And President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad's face can be seen on campaign posters. But the majority of iReports were of Musa V supporters. His rallies rivaled the size of those during the Islamic Revolution 30 years ago. The Iranian campaign was also noteworthy for how much of it was conducted online. Supporters used social networking sites to promote their candidates and spread the word about campaign events. The anti-Ahmadinejad um, candidates have really taken the internet to heart. They're using YouTube, they're using Twitter, they're using Facebook, they're using text messages on cell phones. Musavi's web presence was perhaps the most prominent, largely due to his following among the young and tech savvy. His reporters started their own sites, blogged about the candidate, and his Facebook page had more than 37,000 supporters. But Musavi wasn't the only one using the web to help get out the vote. The more reformed candidate would be more likely to benefit from the internet. But also, there's a lot of people on the internet in Iran who are conservative and who back uh, Ahmadinejad. Ahmadinejad had his own web presence, but he did most of his campaigning in person. And his camp was actually dismissive of his opponent's online support. Quote, our youths are more social, an advisor told the Washington Post. Musavi supporters spend hours on the internet, even though it's bad for their mental health.